tips for drink photography. What's up YouTube and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this channel I talk about everything to do with food and drink photography. First of all, I want to take time to apologise for the break in videos. I've not forgotten about you guys. I do still have two videos left in the summer drink series. Even though summer's coming to an end, we can all do with feeling a little bit summery for a little bit longer. I've been crazy with work, so these, these have had to be put off a little bit. This video is gonna be all about some really great tips for drink photography. So if you're looking at getting into drink photography yourself, these tips will help you along. Enough with the chatter, I'm just gonna get straight into tip number one. My first tip for drinks is to use a funnel when pouring your drink. Might seem really strange, but this little guy is definitely gonna save you time in Photoshop because using a funnel to pour your drink into a glass is gonna stop it splashing up and getting all over your nice, clean glassware. My second tip for drinks in this video is to experiment with hard light. Yes, soft light definitely has its place when it comes to glasses because it can help you with those unwanted reflections, but it is becoming increasingly popular to photograph drinks with hard light. And that is because it creates some really interesting reflections and shadows. And I would definitely recommend giving it a go if you're looking at upping the quality or interest in your own drinks photography. My third tip is all about condensation. A big part of drink photography is setting the scene and making the viewer of your image really feel what that drink is gonna make you feel like if you're drinking it. And condensation is a really important thing if we're photographing cold drinks because it makes the whole image feel refreshing and cooling. Condensation can, can be a bit tricky to predict and create, but I found a really great way of making some real condensation. I just rinse my glass under the water and then pop it in the freezer. The longer you can leave it, the better, but I would definitely recommend for at least a good four to six hours, up to about 12 hours for the perfect condensation. You can always leave it longer if you want a really, really frosty look. Definitely go for a few hours. Just remember, this is real condensation, so it isn't gonna last forever. <clears throat> isn't gonna last forever. Make sure you get your whole setup and scene ready to go and have a dummy glass sat there. So when you bring out your real condensation glass, you're ready to just click the button and get that perfect image. Tip number four is about fake condensation. So like I mentioned, condensation does not last forever and sometimes you might need a little bit longer with your glass or your subject to create the perfect image. If you want a little bit longer, there's a few things we can do to create some fake condensation that's gonna last a lot longer than the real stuff. My first way of creating fake condensation is a matte sealer. You will have seen me use these in DIY videos, but there's also another way we can use it. If you spray your glass with the matte sealer, it will create that nice frosty look. Just remember not to spray onto any area of your glass that won't have liquid in it because the condensation wouldn't naturally fall there. So if you're gonna have it a bit of a gap at the top, make sure you put some tape around the top so you don't get the spray there. We don't want it looking unnatural. Another thing we can use is a 50-50 water and glycerin combination. This is gonna create a much more of a droplet effect. So like the condensation is starting to, is starting to come off the glass and make it look a lot wet and cool and very refreshing. These 
two are gonna last a lot longer than the real condensation from tip number three. My next tip is about the distortion in your image. So if you've shot a few drink photos, you may have realized that glasses at the edge of an image can sort of start to look like they're tilting outwards or inwards. Usually it's outwards. This is caused by the distortion in a lens and it can make the glass sort of look like it's dipping over. You can fix this normally or improve it a lot by having a much longer focal length, maybe a hundred millimeters. But if you want to stick at a, a wider angle or it's still causing a problem, a little bit of paper or some blue tack or white tack can really help you. Just popping this under the side of the glass that looks like it's falling over is going to help bring it back even so. It will be wonky to your eye but into the camera it will look straight. And then it's quite easy just to try and edit something like this out in Photoshop if it's visible. Sometimes it's not always visible or it's quite easy to hide with a little bit of garnish or a little prop, something like that. My next tip is a really important one. So this is tip number six and that is to have plenty of ingredients on hand to, to make your drinks again and again and again. Drinks aren't gonna sit there for very long and look fresh. Condensation is gonna drip, garnishes are gonna start to look a bit sad. Just get that perfect image ready and your drink is starting to look a little bit unhappy. It's best to recreate the drink again and swap it out for a new one. This is something that I've had to do a few times, especially when shooting things like iced coffees and I'm pouring in the milk and I want to have another go at getting a slightly better swirl. Make sure you've got plenty of ingredients on hand to create the drink again and again and again and be prepared to do that. Don't think of it as a waste, you can quite easily drink three of the same cocktails after the shoot. Cocktails is another thing you might want to create again and again because every time you do it you might find you get a little bit better at making them. If it's got a foam on top you can create it exactly the same way again, you might find the foam sits better and things like that. You may need to create it more than once to create that perfect cocktail. That is everything for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope to see some great food some great drink photos out of you all. If you do follow any of these tips, let me know by taking me on Instagram at amphotographeruk and I will definitely check it out. I hope there's not as long a wait for, next, for the next video, which will be a behind the scenes of a pina colada shoot. The rain is starting to fall here, so I really could do with the, some of that summer feeling to come back. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!